Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with Flash Game University at FlashGameU.com. I've been getting a lot of questions over the last month or so about how to communicate between classes or between movie clips uh, in your movie. And there's a lot of different ways to do that. Let's go and just take a look at some general information about that. So here I've got a movie called Object Communication and it has a document class ObjectCommunication.as. You can see in the properties for this movie I've declared Object Communication as a document class. So it's going to run this when it first runs. I've also got in it a movie clip right here. And um, this is called some movie clip. It doesn't have an instance name. I'm not going to use that for this. Um, and it has its own uh, document class here. So if I look at some movie clip, I get information on it. I can see that some movie clip is movie clip with the class some movie clip. And there is some movie clip.as. Now in this, I've got the constructor function, some movie clip, and it's going to communicate with the level above it. One way you could do that is by looking at the root level, the document class. So you have to do that, you have to cast it as a movie clip, so you move movie clip root, and I'm going to call a function in the document class, tell me something, and pass a string what to it. And if I look here, I can see that there's tell me something in the document class. It takes a string and it's just going to send that out to the output window. So when I run, I get just the movie here, it doesn't do anything, but I get that what. So that what is coming from some movie clip. It's tell, going through tell me something function all the way to the function that's in the document class. Now, I'm doing this in constructor function. Now, if I wanted to actually go ahead and create a movie clip, a little something different happens. So I'll do something like this and I'll say uh, variable SMC is going to be of type some movie clip and it's going to be a new some movie clip like that. Now it's going to go ahead and create a new instance of some movie clip. I'm going to add it to the stage SMC. Now look what happens. I'm going to get an error. And sure enough I do. I get an error down here. Cannot access property or method of null object reference. The reason I get that is because I'm trying to call root on the constructor function of some movie clip but when I create it here, it's basically running that constructor function before it's finished becoming an instance of the document. So it doesn't know what root is. Now, I can take care of that in a few ways. First of all, I don't need to do this in the constructor function. I could simply have the same exact thing and it will work fine, say, in a button function or some other function that runs at a later time. But if it needs to be in the constructor function, then I'm going to have to pass in what root is. So I'm going to put in something like my parent. And my parent is going to be of type movie clip. And what I'm going to do is I don't have to cast it as movie clip because my parent has to be a movie clip. I'm going to use my parent tell me something. So I'm going to go up to here and when I create some movie clip, I'm going to pass in this, which is would be root in the case of this. Uh, I want to do something else too. I want to also get rid of this one off the stage. And now it's not compatible with that because I'm not passing in a variable to that constructor. So here's what I get when I run it. I get what and see there's the at location 00, zero the sub movie clip I created and it successfully calls back to its parent with my parent here. So it's I'm passing it in and I'm getting to use it right away. Now what might be useful if you're calling other functions in here is actually having a class, a, a uh, class variable where I would say um, my parent uh, and it's of type movie clip and then what I'm going to do is set my parent equal to uh, passed in parent. I'm going to use that variable name here. So what I'm doing is I'm passing in the name of the parent or a reference to the parent. I'm setting my parent equal to passed in parent and then I'm using it for the first time here but I can start to use that in other functions as well passing whatever I want and it will remember in subsequent functions what my parent is. So that's a much more universal way to do it. Um, now what happens if you want to go ahead and you want to communicate between two such movie clips. So let's say that you have another movie clip like uh, we'll do SMC and we'll do SMC1 and SMC2. So we're going to create two of them. And just to make sure we can see the second one, we'll move it over to the middle of the screen. So what will happen now is it will uh, put up what twice. There we go. Create it one twice and put up that both times. 
And now I can put something in uh, this, like uh, we could um, call it like listen or something. And then we'll trace that out. So now we can go ahead and after we've created these two, we can go and basically send a message to them. So SMC1, uh, listen, and A, and SMC2, listen, B. So now we go and we have in the trace window here, we have what, what, because they, as they're both created, and then they are both told, one's told A, one's told B. Now, if you want to have these things talk to each other instead of just the root or parent, then you want to have variables uh, for them that you can refer to each of them. So before we had it down here SMC1 and SMC2 being created inside the function, we want to make them now properties. So they're here, so they'll be sustained as part of this class of object communication. Uh, and we can refer to them as SMC1 and SMC2 later on. So uh, we can go into uh, some movie clip for instance, and we can create another function called, called special function and um, this will basically be a demonstration of one calling the other. So we'll just say uh, my parent dot um, let's see uh, smc2 dot listen. So what this is going to do is this is going to be one of these, we'll use SMC1, telling SMC2 by referring to the parent and referring to the object SMC2 of the parent and tell it listen, which we'll just put a trace out here of for C. So we'll just do that. We'll do SMC1, listen, and we don't need to pass anything in for that. We run this and uh, we just need to change this. We don't want to do listen, we want to do special function. And there we go, A, B, and C. So now that we've communicated between SMC1, because we trigger SMC1 to run this, SMC1 triggers SMC2 to run listen, and listen does that. Now you can also uh, control variables inside of other um, objects. So in order to do that, you need to declare it as a public variable. So we do um, my var, and we'll do an integer like that, and then we can say when we, every time we trace, we're going to put the value of my var. So we're going to get a bunch of zeros, uh, a, b, and c, but all with zeros. But we can go over here and we can say, hey, let's set SMC1 uh, my var equal to seven, and SMC2 my var equal to 29. And now when we run it, we can see here that this was a call to listen one. Uh, for SMC1. This was called for listen for SMC2. And this was a call to SMC1 to tell SMC2. And since the trace will happen in SMC2, it's going to have the value 29 there. But you can only do that when you have that variable declared as public. And that means outside objects can affect it. So uh, to review uh, some of the useful terms here, if you want to call basically something that's going on in the document class, usually movie clip root is what you want to do. Uh, you can also do a movie clip parent if the direct parent of the object is the uh, the document class. Uh, you also want to keep in mind this is very handy referring to it itself especially when you're going to pass in like uh, in a constructor function a reference to the root or the parent of whatever's creating that. Um, so uh, and you want to remember to cast things as movie clip and you want to make sure that uh, you extend movie clip for these objects so that they have the ability to do things on the screen. Um, and that gives you some of the basics for communication between objects and from the document class into some of its children classes. Uh, you can check out more tutorials at flashgameu.com and the book ActionScript 3.0 Game Programming University by me, Gary Rosenzweig, there as well. Thanks.